Mr. E and Anarchy, Greninja and Lucina starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2, and this is just generally a stage that Greninja wants to be on, wants to be on the have some stages with long widths in order to do what he does best, which is play the mid-screen landing catch type of game, which is why you see that intentional feint with Greninja Nair right off the jump. As long as you have space to move, getting Mr. E to commit to anything could mean for massive damage off of a single dash stack down tilt, anything of the like. Right, and the great thing for Mr. E in this matchup is you just have a sword, and that's always nice. good against the close-up players, you know? You get to have that little range advantage, and generally speaking, get to control the pace of the game, choose when you get the interactions, and if you get good grabs like that as well, then you can win close quarters pretty effectively. Ooh, wanted it, but a late air dodge from E, also trying to get that edge guard. The down air was very early, but intentionally done so. You're not trying to take too many risks early in a set like this, especially in a best of five. Just take it slow, take it calm, and make sure that when you're hitting your mark, it's landing for massive damage, because this percent difference right now is basically negligible. Getting a good forward tilt, sending to the other side of the stage. Mr. E has held a lot of relative control in here. It's not to say that it's not even, though. Anarchy going pretty much swing for swing, but just time and time again, it's coming out a little bit more in favor of Mr. E. Oh, that turnaround that E did right back there was nice. Like, mixing in a uh, healthy amount of back airs in general to turn you around and consistently change up which side you're facing is super nice against a character that has a lot of ambiguity and cross-ups like a Greninja. As we saw the Nair take the first stock on the part of Mr. E, also saving the resources in order to play around the Hydro Pump. E slowly but surely starting to grow this lead and make things exceedingly difficult for Anarchy to take this stock. You know he's hunting for down tilt, but Ian not gonna let it get not going to give it to him for free. The perfect connector of down tilt leads into so many options for Greninja. That's why you keep seeing it come out and it's just not working out. The forward air finally gonna be able to connect, but you're too far away from the ledge at that point. You're now starting to get it to stale. Forward tilt gonna go wide back air gonna send the wrong way. Feels like you're scrambling a little bit to try and not lose more percent and just lock this down. Down tilt finally though gonna come through and the forward air taking Mr. E's first stock. Yeah, just needed some sort of bait or some sort of whiff on the side of Mr. E to finally catch that landing and close out that stock. That will be the payment on the side of Anarchy. How many landings can you catch and how many times can you do it in quick succession? We saw a couple down tilts and dash stacks convert to 46%, but E strikes right back looking for another very early back air. Can perhaps conditioning for later in the set for Anarchy to take his time off stage. We might see that pay off later, but the damage is paying off now. Going for a huge read was Anarchy, but not finding it and dropping the stock after the scramble. I love that. Flashy, showy, trying to go for good Ooh. options. Still staying on top of things, too. Anarchy, it felt like maybe that first stock wasn't doing that good, but looking at this current Greninja on my screen, this is somebody who was feeling things out in that first stock, trying to see what the pace of the game would be and how you can adapt to the way Mr. E is going to be playing, because the thing about Lucina is it's a fun these characters. You don't get a lot of options to really mix things up. Greninja, more of a tricky play style. You get to play around with a lot of different options, different combo starters. That down tilt, though, as we've already talked about, forever and always your number one go-to. Yeah, these percentages for sure. And then the Hydro Pump is going to guarantee that second stock. Did a little bit later. Caught the Dolphin Slash and guarantees the stock. Bring us to an even game number one here, Weimer. Seeing who gets to start off the set with a very distinct advantage by taking this first game. Yeah, that sets the counter pick pace for the rest of the set, and that's always important. It Anarchy. matters for these two characters. Ooh. Yeah, Anarchy getting a lot of options to come out now. Mr. E has just kept a lock on this Greninja. This is looking more like Shades of the First Stock. Anarchy came alive for a second, but just all of these hitboxes staying in the way. Not a lot of good use with the shield as well. That is keeping a lot of the options out, but as I say that, poking through finally and getting a lovely juggle with these up airs right here. He went for it too. That up tilt conversion was a ex excellent an anti-air from Anarchy, excuse me, after a after E was looking for that spot dodge read with something like a down tilt and another super late uh, slow fall and fair just trying to regain some semblance of control and call out some of these defensive options from Anarchy. He does not want to let him continue to get away with all of these rolls and spot dodges. Has to make sure he's consistently putting out slightly delayed hitboxes. Oh, f tilts the wrong way. He had the air dodgery too. Anarchy currently sitting in a spot. You cannot overextend. The dash attack is not safe though. Luckily, Lucina grabs do not give you a lot of mileage in terms of kill power. The neutral air going to send off stage and now this is the same situation we've seen time and time again. When does this aerial fire? You have to play so patiently in shield and again the dash attack feels a little bit like panic coming through right now. But somehow Anarchy not dead yet at 150. We're at 
absolutely up to a percent. We're starting to look for it. A super late Nair a yet again comes in after Anarchy picks an option in immediate timing. The roll through gets by and the pivot grab comes in, catches the jump with that forward there, needs to breathe the air dodge, does so successfully, and that's going to do it for game number one. Anarchy exploding with one read, one call out, and one finisher. And that's what I was talking about, where you are a much trickier character with your Anarchy. Uh, you have Greninja's options available to you. Mr. E, you know, when you're in that situation trying to come down and get back to ledge, you can only really choose the time when you air dodge and if you use a side B. And those are your two mix-ups. That's all you really got to work with, and Anarchy, right on top of it, got the read, got the kill. That's all you need sometimes. Yeah, percent difference only matters as long as it's a... as long as you pass certain windows and certain gates, right? And Anarchy may have been down like 70% from being at like 90 to 160, right. but both were at kill percent, so exactly. it didn't matter. All right, the counter pick coming through. Mr. E opting to stay with PS2 for game two here. I don't hate it, especially in a stage like, like the one here at Wavelength. Uh, a lot of the times you're uh, you're able to ban out stages that we've seen is really, really good on, like Smashville and Battlefield, to without really anything good to replace it. And Pokemon Stadium 2 is just a comfort pick for most players in Smash Ultimate, period. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... I say it a lot because I see it a lot in this region. Obviously, we are using the New England Unified rule set for this, not the uh, overall Unified rule set. Hold on, we're going to talk about rules later because Mr. E getting the jab lock forward smash and another one cleaning up a very nice first stock here. And you saw that drop zone threat yet again for Mr. E. Grab ledge in a very deep back air or perhaps an immediate one depending on which timing Mr. E goes for. Anarchy guessed wrong and got blown up for it. Yeah, the side B is coming through now. Mr. E staying in control a lot more like that first stock we saw in game one. Up smash is going to come through. Again, the down tilt. So good. The strongest soldier for this Greninja. It changes the dynamic. Being able to land any amount of down tilts consistently, especially at percents like that. Like 160 and you're closing out, or, or excuse me, 160 was the stock that Mr. E was closing out on mm -hmm. in the previous game. 80% is when Greninja's threatening stocks. That is going to put an inkling in Mr. E's head of like, I've got to be extra careful at percents that normally I can play pretty standard at. Right. And it's the nickel and dime game as well. You're getting these consistent hits and they do moderate damage but if you need to look for more kill options again and again, you're just going to build up more percent like this. 98 right now on Anarchy. Ooh, nice Great thing. tech with that down air. And the getup attack as well. Going for it yet again. Like, trying to hop over some of these down tilts, but Anarchy applying a little bit of pressure, but not enough for Mr. E, who's been focusing a ton more at reversals out of shield. Playing consistent with things like Dolphin Slash, doing, still doing some of these short hops in order to play around things like down tilt, but absolutely not letting the pressure last from Anarchy as long as it did in game number one. Again, Dolphin Slash immediately, get out of my face, go back to neutral. Aerials and up B out the wazoo for Mr. E right now. Has a really strong lead at the moment, only halfway through this second stock. 17% on Anarchy though, building up more percent on Mr. E right now. Tries Ooh. to get another read. I love these flashy reads we keep going for, but again, the down tilt gonna lead into the floor. They're not quite gonna kill. And in this offstage scramble, oh, sending out the power spot. It's Greninja up smash is a it's one of the moves of all time, and it's very <laughs> easy to in order to find some of these uh, side or glancing hitboxes as opposed to the ones you really, really want. The spacing absolutely rewarded on the side of Greninja, and we'll get to see if if we're able to put something together here at 153 here, Weimer. Hopping, threatening, back air, finds the back air, but it's not going to close out the stock. Air dodge already used. Oh, it's still scary. These hydro pumps doing so much, and you don't have a jump. You can't afford to air dodge, but some... How the Lucina is still not dead on this second stock. Foreigner, though, right as I say it, chopping off the head to the guillotine with you. Anarchy looking to keep this game two in his hands. I like that Anarchy is staying stubborn with those forwarders as well. In game number, in, in previous the, for this set, we've been seeing a lot of those get parried on reaction, but it's still safe on parry, and you need to use it to mix up your timings and mix up your offense for Greninja. So it's good to stick with it regardless of what that happens. And we are sticking with it three in a <laughs> row. <laughs> Might as well at this point. You need to get percent on this stock one way or another. Mr. E is playing very defensively right now, and you are relying on these reads, as you have been throughout pretty much this entire set so far. Yeah. But that's all you need sometimes. The down tilt setting it to the tech situation did not get the tech in time. And the down smash, very clean way to clean that up. And the only way to escape that setup for um, uh, Lucina or Marth as well, but Lucina's more consistent at it by the nature of a more consistent blade. Uh, what do you mean Tipper's not consistent? Whoa, whoa crazy. Uh, <laughs> is to tech roll out. If you tech roll in or tech in place or miss the tech, 
you get hit by the down smash. And at that, at those percentage, down smash is a stock taking move. So tech roll out to survive, and that's the only way you're not getting hit. And I think that's also a nice option to have with a tech roll out as the only option too. Because if you're at this high level, most characters have like. I feel like there's a consistent thing where if you're in a tech situation, a lot of people want to tech roll out. Right. So when you have something where the only option is to tech roll out, you get to this high enough level where you can start mind gaming yourself almost, right? Like, okay, most of the time, people want to tech roll out, so maybe I want to cover the options that don't do that, so let me go for the option that does that, but then you've mixed yourself up. Running it straight back to PS2 here, Weimar, as I completely agree, going full combo and full extension. Oh my Takes God. the jump, and that's yes. gonna be it. Instant <laughs> reversal. I, I'm with you. I, like, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> like, hell yeah. If you can do that, go for that anarchy. Overextending on the edge guard. And Mr. E, here's a back air for you. Have fun down in the depths of hell. Yeah, that is patience through adversity. Know what hits are guaranteed and play to the next interaction. And the next interaction for anarchy was it, seeing if he could take the stock, but not in the face of Mr. E, Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected. Yeah, 117, though. Anarchy is still working on that percent lead that you built from that before the quick death, but 9% has not taken much of a scratch on this stock and still threatening the kill at the moment, looking for back airs, forward airs, anything to get the stock taken out. Well, jump used a little bit early there on the side of Mr. E as he's playing around the platform, looking to pick something up. Weird glancing blow yet again off of down tilt, so not able to confirm into the forward air that we had seen before, but instead we're just calling out the short hop nair taking the trade and taking the, uh, taking the damage onto yourself in order to confirm that stock. And we're getting right back to the blender. Like, let's, let's pick up where we left off if you're Anarchy. You don't get to see a lot of Greninjas, but Greninja combos are so clean. They're There's so just sick. a grace in motion. to this. The design of the character coming into full play with that 100%. But look at the percents right now. We're back to even despite the really early kill from Mr. E. It all doesn't matter anymore. And now Anarchy actually taking the lead again. Mr. E, what do you do to kind of bring back that lead that you had. Oh, solid setup there as we saw a tech roll out immediately on the side of Anarchy, but Mr. E did not push afterwards this time. Wanted to see if the adjustment from Anarchy, and it was still to play out the tech situation, but we're jumping back. We're finding that fallen Nair after doing so much spacing with Nair 2. Finally, Nair 1 is what comes out, and it confirms the stock. Oh, had the down tilt into up smash, but a little bit off on that, and Mr. E gets a little bit more time on this second stock, and hey, juggle situation, 43%, but another dash attack coming into the forward air. That's the other option. If it's not down tilt, it's dash attack. Oh, it's, that's the, it's the full stage 50-50 that Greninja puts you in. Right. Hello and goodbye. That was immaculate spacing, not only from the feint of Anarchy and the time used, but it, because it was a delayed option through and through, it forced Mr. E's shield to diminish. Mr. E played around that by angling his shield up, then gets caught by the down tilt on his ankles. Excellent. Perfect, Perfect play right there. 21% on this last stock. Anarchy sitting at 70. This is the all-important game three. This puts someone on set point. And in this case, somebody might be going home. So you gotta you gotta be on your A game right now. You gotta be playing to the best of your ability. Side gonna come out and Mr. E holding on to this lead right now. Yeah. That slow fall yet again, just coming into clutch positions for Mr. E, who's steadily been able to work up this lead, trying immediately to challenge Anarchy, does so successfully with not only a Dancing Blade, but then another Nair 2. Goes oh for a late my. ledge trump. Yes. We do not see enough trumps. People do not trump as much in this game anymore, and it's so sad. But that lets you do things like that, where you just pull it out of the pocket just like that. Were you ready for that? No, because I didn't do that the entire set, and you haven't seen that since Smash 4. Yeah. And Lucina is consistently one of the better characters at utilizing it. Lucina being able to flex ledge hang as a position of strength is such a unique mm. strength. Because, I mean, Lucina back air is an insane move. Even if you DI the ledge trump, which, as we saw Anarchy did, he was almost on right. stage after getting ledge trump, back air still connects. It's just the same it's timing. It's just a truck. It's just, it hits. It's brutal. It's a brutal position to be in, and now you've just added this massive wrinkle into the game plan, but Anarchy, ever the stubborn, wants to establish this game plan oh. through and through, and does it <laughs> successfully. Game number three, you had the early stock. Game number four, here's how it should have gone. Hey, here's the trade offer. You get the early stock game three, I get the early stock game four, we go to game five, maybe? Yeah. How about that? I'm in the lead now. Oh, Anarchy, beautiful play there. <laughs> I offer you a game four blowout. <laughs> you get a game five. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Wonderful deals being made here. The art of the deal being shown off by Anarchy. But right. hey, the deal is still in progress because these combos are flying left and right. Trades are still happening. And the neutral B going to come through. First, I think we've seen that from Mr. E right now. Oh, hard DI down and away. Tries for an up smash call out. I kind of like that from Mr. E, but Anarchy moving around, trying to play as slick as possible. But this down air does not convert into back air. Just looked like it was an IDJ out of a short hop instead of a full hop. And it was just a little too low. Oh, great back air. Not quite going to kill. Tries to look for something again, but opting right. to go to ledge, but Anarchy going to fall just short. 72% on this second stock. Anarchy has been running a lot of these stocks with momentum and flow. I'm curious if Mr. E is going to be able to kind of find a rock and stay solid here and kind of push things back when you're 100% down. I mean, you're speaking of movement. Look at Anarchy just starting to threaten a ton of these empty hops, but get chopped up by Lucina Ford. And a slice down, a back air to call out the jump, looking to try and get a footstool or a down air of his own, but Mystery doesn't find a huge trade on the back air to keep the corner position. All of this damage coming off of trades and straight up wins, thanks to Lucina's massive disjoint, and Anarchy is starting to really get into those deep red percents. It looks for the down air, finds the second one, and Mr. E chopping things up after just careful and deliberate positioning. This is looking like almost a perfect mirror of what we saw last game. Mr. E got the early stock there. Anarchy took the second stock first. Now we're in the opposite position. Anarchy getting the early stock, but Mr. E, you got that second stock, but now we are dead even on what is possibly Anarchy's last stock here. Yeah, survival stock, but victory stock on the side of Mr. E. We'll get to see who is able to get off to a quick start here in the, this final, potential final stop of the set. As we've seen it time and time again, E had always been able to get out to a larger lead in final stock scenarios. But this time it seems like that mirror is really coming back to rear its ugly head. Because Mr. E is the one behind the eight ball with that down, uh, dash attack into back air. Setting up yet again that same ledge trap. Dash oh. attack hits ledge. Oh. Forward air to convert. Doesn't close out the stock. Needs to finish the but the Hydro Pump just lets Mr. E come back. All right, now we're in the tenth situation. Anarchy scrambling to keep as much stage control as possible. Mr. E though standing on these last legs and not afraid to keep fighting. 67% and it's just going higher. Every aerial is about 10% being tacked on. A four tilt gonna come through. And Mr. E now is the one in control, covering the stage, covering the landings with the forward air on that landing. Gonna send up on the top blast zone and Anarchy keeping it cool. And hey, the trade went through. We're in game five. Man, oh man, and that could have been disaster for Anarchy. Like a set you watch back and it's like, I had the stock right there. He got the drag down back air into down tilt, but didn't reverse the down tilt. So he down tilts the wrong way. Mr. E resets to neutral, even gets a punish, I think, there with a forward tilt or something similar. And that could have been a moment where you look back and it's like, that could have been a game five and who knows what happens. Right. Luckily for the universe in the favor of Anarchy, we do find the way to get to game five regardless with that fast fall forward air. And lo and behold, here we are, our first set of losers top 16 and we are in a nail biter. Ooh. I saw we were stage. thinking about it for a second and yeah. I saw they were talking back and forth, just confirming bans. Top players, they kind of get into a rhythm of PS2. And I think Mr. E, being in loser's side, doesn't really want to run that risk and just wants to make sure, all right, I have counter pick advantage. I should be doing everything I can to make sure I get into top eight. I was seated to get into top eight. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure I get there. Always the tense part, but I, something that's always been unexplored and something in most Smash games, but especially Smash Ultimate, is like counter pick advantage being used dramatically. And even if it's just something like the difference between PS2 and Small Battlefield, that matters a ton for Greninja, because now you don't have nearly as much space to roam. 100%. You close up those blast zones, you close up that stage, no place to hide, nowhere to run. That is exactly what you want for Mr. E, and I also, I always gotta call it out, the choice of tech and music, Karma right. bringing us in on Game 5, that's exactly what you want. Oh, that late Nair. Mr. E's value on uh, and utilization of Nair 2 specifically to hit super duper low, to space around Greninja just like standing there in a super low dash, insane. Followed shortly by down air as his utilization of that on ledge as a use of conditioning and threat has been immaculate. But that's 132%. 
yet no stock to show for it, and Anarchy is trying to use whatever he has left on this life to bring that lead all the way back, a forward air after 77%, sees the jump and no air dodge, so just goes back to stage. Anarchy is in full survival instincts right now. Oh. I was about to call out how good his techs have been, but that was not one he was ready for. The mix-up with the uppy, something that Mr. E has been saving, it seems like, and not ready to do that. I'm guessing probably prepared for the down air that kept coming out instead. Mr. E, though, Grenade sends away Grenade <laughs> Sour Spots. It's something that you hear the people complain about, and that's why. Why did that Sour Spot? Genuinely, who no knows? Clue. I like don't weird know. Weird hurtbox shifting on top of it being like out of a deck. I don't know. Probably something with the hitbox overlay, if I were to guess. But it's neither here nor there. Grenade it didn't work. You gotta find another way to do it, and that's just the game sometimes. Luckily, you're in the position to do it, and that angled up forward tilt catching the jump out of shield will do it, keeping things as even as they have ever been in a set like this. Oh, nice spacing on the forward air. Doesn't get the parry afterward uh, on the set forward air from Mr. E, so the Dolphin Slash could not punish. And we are not getting a huge punish afterwards if you're Anarchy, though. Still behind the eight ball when it comes to damage like this. Ooh, careful from both sides. We're both we're making it back. Cool. 30% right now on Mr. E, building it up on Anarchy at 88% right now, but it's scrapping. Nobody is getting combos. It is hit back and forth. Both these players know they are on their absolute last potential. They're doing everything they can to show up right now, and right now Mr. E still holding on to this ever so slight lead, but Anarchy, we've seen already, able to hold on to these stocks so much longer than you would expect, and again, still teching this down air. Anarchy is in pure survival mode, and it is working out swimmingly. The up smash going to give him the lead. It always matters. We hit that maximum number, that maximum rage, 150%, and Greninja up smash paid dividends for it, but the backer immediately evens up the game. It wouldn't be this set, Limer, if we didn't go to an even stock. Last game, game five, survival for both players, and we're starting off with the BNB from Anarchy, keeping that up smash ready and willing in the, tr in the chamber. This is everything you want to see in Smash. The percents even on that last stock. Two players fighting at their absolute best to keep going, and Anarchy right now, whatever momentum you just found, has been keeping with it this entire time. So much good play being done right now, but Mr. E finding new momentum, finding another win, and fighting back into this, looking for the back air right now. That was a forward smash, but he just pulled the trigger too early, expecting a different recovery route there from Anarchy. Nice way to pull that back in the last moments of game number five. We're seeing the back airs used for spacing, trying to catch Mr. E from getting away with some of these falling aerials. We see the rising bear not getting punished. The rising up air finds the hit, yet we're challenging immediately for Anarchy. Finds the up air, finds the air oh. dodge, finds the forward air, and finds the set win. That's going to do it for Mr. E here at Wavelength as Anarchy moves on. Game 5, last hit into winner side, uh, loser side top 12. And while I have it here on this camera, it wasn't showing on the stream, but I want you to know Anarchy.